Okay, well, here it is. I don't know how good this video is going to be. I'm out in our living room right now where we don't have uh, enough filtered air for me. We are, we are in uh, the state of Washington in hazardous air for most of the region. If you go over the mountains to Seattle, you're looking at more, uh, actually some uh, unhealthy air there too. Um, but this is living and breathing right now in the state of Washington. You know that we had the same thing happen to us last year. Uh, 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 you know, the whole region, the whole West, is. this is not just California and, and British Columbia and Canada on fire. We are on fire everywhere. This is hazardous air uh, for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles here. Same thing as last year. So I'm wearing this. I've got more. I'm, a, I'm getting real cabin fever. Uh, I, I really am. Uh, so, um, this is life right now. I, I think this is a wake-up call. There's something wrong here. What's going on here? This happened last year, too. And uh, I never remember this in all my... Uh, I'm over 60. I don't remember this kind of crap. I ain't, I'm getting sick of this. Also, I, I got another diet tip. I did not weigh myself either, by the way. I didn't do it. So, next... Next week, I got to I got away myself. You know, I'm just a little stressed out. Um, there was a book I got years ago because you know, not one diet is gonna uh, be right for each person. So, this book I got a while back, and let me show it to you if I can. Okay, there you go. Can you see that? I'm gonna hold it there for a bit so. You can write it down if you want to. It's called Eat Right for Your Type. It's based on your, your blood type. And um, I think it really helped me a lot. Um, uh, vegetarians don't like this. And, and really, I don't either. I don't like it. I, you know, I'm a meat eater. <laughs> so I mostly eat meat and vegetables and just a little bit of, of grain. So you, you may find that... You know, you can't eat the same diet that the person next to you eats. Or even you, your partner or whatever. You kind of have to eat a, a different kind of diet. So I found that uh, for me. And, I, yeah, I got my reading glasses. You know, I can't get them on right. Jeez. It's a hassle. But, you know, anyway, that this is life right now in the state of Washington. Uh, we've had at least bad air. For over a month, and uh, but at least it's uh, there's little monitors on these air monitors that they go from green, which is good air, yellow, which is moderate. I have trouble in moderate even. Orange is uh, unhealthy for sensitive people. Me, uh, red is unhealthy. Purple is very unhealthy, and then a kind of a purplish or maroon is hazardous. So we're in hazard. Anyway, this. It should be, oh, I really think this should be a wake-up call that our top priority on this planet should be our, our environment. Everything, all of it. So I was disturbed to hear how the orca wells up here are starting to die and starve because there's no fish. Gosh, darn it. we got to stop destroying this planet. And get our priorities right. So, okay, this is me signing off. And uh, I hope people start waking up that there's really something very wrong here. All right.